lawful for us to receive, neither to observe being Romans. And the multitude rose up, rose up to gather against them, and the magistrates rent off their clothes and command to be to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into the prison, charging the jur charging the jurors to keep them safe. Who have received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and make their feet fast in the stocks. Mm. I'm going to stop right there. Amen. 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 My God. Amen. Whew. Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, as I have been studying and thinking of what to give on today, by it being the second Sunday in the new year, it's still good and it's still relevant. Amen. Because he's still fresh in 2024. Amen. This season, God is about to break. Oh, oh, so my topic is breaking chains to open doors. He said he's going to break chains to open up some doors. Ooh, Jesus. This season, God is about to break chains off of you so you can be free. And he can use you how he wants to use you. Then once he breaks them chains, he's going to open the doors for you. Woo. So at the beginning while we was reading this, this is a woman, she was a fortune teller, amen? amen. She, was, she was making good money by telling people's fortunes. And her masters, she would pay them, so they were making good money off of her, amen? amen? And every time Paul them was on their way to prayer, amen? amen? It said many days that they went to prayer, not just one day, but seemed like they was going every day to prayer. Amen. Amen. Whew, my God. <sighs> Slow down, Tasha. Slow down. Take your time. Many days they went to prayer. She kept nagging and nagging. I know who you are. I know what you come to do. So Paul, he got tired of it. And then he just looked at her and commanded that spirit to leave and it left. So when he did that, he aggravated the enemy. Amen. Because he was there on the assignment. But he had to wait until God told him to do what he had to do. He knew he couldn't move out of turn. Amen. God said that in the last season, you had chains that were binding you. You had some stuff that was holding you captive. Whew, Jesus. And it gets so good and significant, Temple of Faith. Because people have been coming up to you saying this and saying that, amen. When you tell them your vision, they'll doubt you. They'll doubt your faith. They'll doubt your God. But you kept on walking. And to this year, in this season, you're going to look at them and you're going to cast that demon out of them. That chain is about to be broken. So, oh my God. So, Paul cast it out. And then they got upset and then they beat him. Him and Silas. They beat him to where they had stripes on their backs. Amen. They beat him to where they couldn't move and where they thought that they was going to break down. But Paul and Silas still had the praise on the inside because of the prayer that they was going to on a daily break basis. If you continue to stay prayed up, you won't have to worry about your trials. If you continue to fast and lay stuff aside, you won't have to worry about when the adversary come up against you. Woo! And they said they put stocks on them. And stocks was like a punishment. It was like a wooden frame. And it had two circles. And they put their feet in the circles. And they pulled it down and they locked it so they couldn't move. Some of us have been locked down. Yes, Lord. Some of us have been beaten down. Yes, but God said he's here to break those chains My and open up those doors. He said he's 
going to break every chain in your life. He said he's going to break everything that tried to keep you bound. He said, and then when Paul and Silas was sitting there, they was in a dark place because they said it was midnight. And us, when we think about midnight, it's 12 o'clock at night. So it's dark. But how many of you know I got a little deeper in the midnight, Pastor? Midnight, it can mean midnight is also when it's nighttime. It's dark, but it's the end of the previous day, and it's hello to the next day. Woo, my God, my God. And how many of you know that we go through hard challenges in the season? These times have also been consider a midnight hour. When you go to the doctor and they give you a bad report, that's a midnight hour. When you don't know when your bills are going to be paid, that's a midnight hour. When you don't know if you're going to open up your eyes the next day, that's a midnight hour, Pastor. It's not just in the darkness. It's not just at night when the time switch over. How many of you know that at midnight, between 12 
worship me. I'm still going to give me all the glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because you know that when you're at night, when you're in your house and you got to go to the bathroom, and you don't walk around and turn on every light, you will memorize your way to the bathroom. Come on here, Jesus. So Paul and Silas said, I know that I'm under the jail. I know that God is going to find me. He knew that God would know his way there. God knew the path when they was praising him and worshiping him. break everything off yes. of you. Thank you. So that's how they got through that because they memorized Ooh, that their praise were in night God. Oh, they knew that it would in night his heart. They knew that he didn't get, get to him. So when you in your chains and when you're broken down oh. he said just open your mouth yeah. and begin to pray and begin to worship me and I will find you wherever you are. Yes. Yes. Woo! Breaking the chains to open the doors. My Bible says that he behold God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Isaiah 12 and 2. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on to your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 35 through 6. And he know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. When he had been called according to his purpose, Romans 8 and 28, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God is my salvation and my strength. Psalms 18 and 2, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will upload you to the right hand. Isaiah 4 and 10. Hallelujah, Jesus. So when they was in there, they was praising this stuff. And I can imagine in my mind, Sister Lakeisha and Sister Felicia, I can imagine in my mind that they were sitting there. Hallelujah. That they were sitting there in that in the, uh, stop. And they were just sitting there, couldn't move their feet. And they begin to say praise and worship. And the more that they worship, the more that they cried, the faster that God heard their voice. I can imagine in my mind that Paul, he was singing in a tenor voice. And so he was singing in a baritone voice. And then here comes Jesus. He's like the mighty rushing wind. He was the bass of the drum. He was beating up the winds. He was breaking up some chains. He was tearing up some stony hearts. Yes! Yes! He said, open your mouth and give me some praise. He said, I want to break some chains. I want to break some stuff off of you. I want to change your walk. I want to change your talk. I want to change your way of thinking. So those foundations begin to shape. And here comes Jesus with his bad self. Then the stocks begin to break. And how many of you know when the door opens, that means we're free. That means I'm going to run one way. But oh, he saw that the door was open. And he knew what his assignment was. So we thought that the miracle happened. 
at midnight, but the miracle really happened after midnight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I said that you thought that the miracle happened at midnight, but the miracle happened after midnight. Because what the miracle was, the miracle was that they opened up the door, then the soldier, he finally woke up, but he was sleeping. Breaking chains to open the doors. Yes. The door is open. Hallelujah. And Paul's standing there with his hands up. We all here. Look what he told the man. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> Don't kill yourself. Because we all here. And my Bible also said. He would have killed himself if they had fleed. But Paul knew what he came there for. And that was to win over souls. So he said, I'm not going to leave until I finish my assignment. You can't leave. You can't leave that broken place until you begin to worship him. You can't leave that broken place until you Paul standing there. We all here. And he said, okay, what must I do to be saved? That's the miracle that happened at midnight. Because Paul knew his assignment was to get there and to save souls and to win over those souls. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm here to tell somebody that in your weakest moment, God said he's going to break those chains. He said, remember, remember everything in 2023. Remember how I delivered you from that sickness. He said, don't leave it behind. Because a lot of people say, bye-bye, 2023. I don't want to see you no more. But you're saying bye-bye to that miracle when you got blessed with a house. You're saying bye-bye when he blessed you in your body. You're saying bye-bye when he blessed your children. He said, so stop saying bye-bye. He said, remember everything that was good that I did for you over there. Because I'm going to break up the chains on the stuff that I didn't get to fix. And you want to carry it over in 2024. And I'm going to make you white as snow. I'm going to change you up. I'm going to clean up your walk. I'm going to clean up your talk. He says, continue to stay in your prayer closet. He said, this is my season. This is my hour where you have to really hear my voice. He said, 2024, you got to really hear my voice. It's going to be soft and sweet, but you got to really take note. He said, it's going to be swift and quick. He said, everything that you written down that didn't happen. He said, I broke those chains. He said, I broke those chains. He said, I broke those chains. Now I open the door for a new season. So when he broke the chains, he opened the door when it hit. 12 o'clock midnight on last year and we stepped into this year. He said he broke everything back there. Now he's going to open up the doors of heaven. He's going to open it up. He said he's going to open it up. Breaking chains to open doors. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We can't even imagine what it felt like for them to get beat. We can't even imagine what it felt like for Jesus to get beat. How he died on the cross for our sins that we may live again. How he carried his own cross. 
how he carried all the burdens of us. And we can just carry all of our sins. And we can just leave it all at God's feet. He said, there's nothing too hard for me. He said, there's nothing too big or too small for me. He said, everything, all the way down to generational curses. He said, I'm breaking it up. He said, this is.